Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy halfway through the week. Uh, I wanted to vlog a little bit today and Friday since I'm off. I tried doing that last week and just didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm gonna try again this week. It's a process. But I have some things that I just wanna kinda do today. Possibly some starting to Christmas decorate, starting to like get some ideas of where I wanna put things. I think I've said that, yeah, I've said this before for sure. We just moved into this town home in July. So this is like the first time that I'm actually like decorating like a larger space because we still live in an apartment. So it's kind of easy to decorate an apartment because there's not a lot of space, but now there's a lot of space. So I figured I'm gonna do a little bit of that today, do some cleaning. And so yeah, I just got out of the shower, so I'm gonna get ready. So we're in my bathroom and I figured I'd show you how I blow dry my hair. My hair right now, since I just got out of the shower, it's like pretty much dry. It's looking a little wild, it's looking like a great look, but I am certain that people know what type of hair dryer this is. This is a Revlon, just like dryer brush. And I love, 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 love this brush because I've seen people talking about this for like years and I figured I would try it. So I bought it. I think now I've had it for a year and it's the best thing. I know that there are more expensive ones out there and I'm sure they're maybe a little bit nicer than this, but this is only $40 and I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. I personally love it myself, like I said, but it just gives me like really great volume, straight hair with just like, and then I'll kind of curl it at the bottom. I'm going to show you how I dry my hair, how I like it. And if anyone is interested, this is definitely a good hair dryer to have. <laughs> from the window. This is how I normally straighten slash dry my hair. It literally takes me five minutes because I have pretty thin hair. I think if you have thicker hair, it might take you a little bit longer, but it's super, super easy and it doesn't hurt my arm or like, you know, make my arm tired as I'm drying my hair. And I think it gives me a uh, great volume, at least to begin with right now, it's definitely gonna fall a little bit, but I think if you put, um, or if you use some type of like product or whatever to kind of just like, or texture to make it hold, I think that you'll be good for it all day, but only 40 bucks. Next, I'm gonna do my makeup. I have some new makeup items that I, I like know about the brand, it's called Mellow Cosmetics. I used to have Ipsy like a long time ago and I got a lipstick in my Ipsy bag that was from Mellow Cosmetics and I loved that lipstick, but I never really like researched or like have seen Mellow Cosmetics anywhere. Recently, like they commented on one of my photos on Instagram and I ended up kind of like talking to uh, someone who like works at the company and they said, yeah, like, Here's a discount like give our products a try and whatever so i'm like okay so i ordered i think a palette a blush a lipstick and a lip liner yeah today and kind of show you uh a little bit about it i put on some makeup here i just have my foundation which is the so i use the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear i have that on concealer is the elf wait i can't see this hydrating camo concealer the satin finish one 
put on powder, which is the Maybelline the Fit Me Press Powder. Then I have on the Ilia Bronzer. It is the Drawn In Night Light Bronzing Powder. Love this. Got this from the Sephora sale a couple weeks ago. I think I also, I talked about that in my vlog that I never edited. I've really been liking it so far. Uh, the color is super neutral. You really can see it in this lighting because I'm in my bathroom, but at this point this is where I'm getting ready. So we're just going to accept that. But okay, the first thing that I'm going to show you here is the Mellow Cosmetics, the Mellow Powder Blush uh, in the shade Bronze. So it's that, just like a shade. I have a similar shade like this. It's the Toasted Cinnamon one from Burt's Bees, but this is the first time that I'm really trying it out. So I'm just going to take some on. I have a Morphe E4 Lush brush. And I'm just going to put it. That is the blush situation. I like that. It definitely just added some more bronze to my skin. I need all the bronzing help that I can get because I am pretty fair, pretty fair skin. I got the Treasure Chest, the mellow one, super pretty glitzy packaging like that. Take the little paper thing off. I swatched a couple of these shades. This is pretty and and all honesty, I like that I am only going to use neutral colors, but then there are like a thousand other kinds of shades like that out there. But all of the shimmer shades, there is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Maybe, I mean, that's kind of a lot of shimmer shades, but whatever. And there's four matte shades. So I'm going to go into probably this pearl. So this shade right here called Pearl. I'm just going to dab my, my brush into there. Definitely. A little bit more gray going on okay <laughs> the lighting I'm sorry okay so next I think I'm gonna go in to the tiger eye the shade right here it's just a little bit of a tan color I really like this oh my god okay so I really like this rhodonite I yeah I'm assuming that it's pronounced that way but I definitely want to keep it a little bit more cool toned on my eyes today because I'm wearing just like a gray sweater and oh that is darker that was darker than I thought so maybe if I move this a little bit more you can probably see that a little bit better I just used the shimmer shade that road night shade on my eyelid and then I just used the matte shades just inside my crease so not too bad, they blended pretty well. I definitely feel like there are eyeshadows that I like better, but I mean, so far, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm obviously using the Liquid Lash Extensions by Thrive Cosmetics. It's the best, it's just the freaking best, guys. If you don't have it, I highly recommend that you go and get it. Sorry, I'm gonna do a little bit of this just so you can see the difference in both of my eyes. Obviously this one has mascara and these are just my lashes on the regular, so beautiful. I honestly, I can't believe it took me like this long because I've always heard, sorry, I've heard of Thrive Cosmetics for probably like a couple of years just because I like to watch a bunch of YouTube videos of beauty vloggers, but I just, I don't know why I never checked it out and they're just the freaking best. <laughs> They do a really good job with like their philanthropy. They give back to women um, in need. I don't know exactly all the details off the top of my head, but you, like a percentage of their purchases just go to the, their like foundations or like the organizations that they donate to. So I love that. And I feel like my, not only am I like paying for good products, but like my money is going somewhere to help someone else too. So lashes done. And I'm going to do my brows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I'm not going to video myself doing this because I am terrible at doing brows. I need to practice and get better at it or figure out what type of shape. I really just try to follow the shape that I already have and then fill in and it never they never look the same. So we're just going to fast forward to this and then I will show you in better lighting what everything else looks like. Okay, we are back in 
way better lighting, natural lighting. I'm standing kind of like in front of my window here. Sorry, I'm holding my phone and it's really shaky. But this, so I did not, I should have probably made my eyes a little bit more warm tone because the blush and everything is super warm as well as the lipstick. So I also, so sorry, I forgot to show you, but I got a lip liner in the color rose and then a lipstick that was a little bit more cool tone than the lip liner, but I think mixed together, I really like how they look. Uh, the lip liner, a little bit dry, but the lipstick was, I mean, it feels super comfortable. It's definitely matte, but it's not dry or anything. So I like that. Yeah, I mean like overall, like I like the stuff for sure. I definitely use my own money to pay for it. I just got a discount, so it wasn't gifted to me, but yeah, I mean, not too bad. I will probably only like stick with the lipsticks that I personally like and I'll see how the blush wears because the blush is really pretty, but I have a lot of other palettes that are eye palettes that are similar to that. So we'll see how this kind of wears throughout the day to see if it stands up uh, in order for me to really figure out if it's a yes or a no for me. But right now it's kind of leaning more towards no because I think there's definitely better things out there. And I feel bad saying that because it's like I don't want, because they were nice enough to give me that discount and reach out to me, but I also don't want to say that I like something and recommend it if if I fully don't believe in it, you know what I mean? So, but anyways, but I mean, I fully like, I love the lipstick. I think that's definitely like a good buy for sure. So yeah, we'll see how it wears. Next thing I'm gonna do today though is probably clean up a little bit of my mess that I have made for myself and probably do some writing and blogging stuff, but I will be back because I want to definitely kind of show you where I'm at with the whole decorating and Christmas process. Probably take down some of my fall decor. I know it's still fall and I know I have another like two weeks left, but I still wanna take stuff out and look at it and kind of see where things are gonna go. So we'll be back. Okay, so I haven't super, haven't really moved much. Uh, I ate breakfast and well, okay, I posted a blog. So I have a new blog post up talking about mental health and just, it's really just about uh, checking in with yourself, checking in with your emotions. I really do wanna do one blog post a month dedicated to that. I'm trying to live my life through making sure I'm checking in with myself, so. And honestly, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to definitely uh, keep your emotions in check during all of this. But also maybe sometimes as a woman, I don't know if you can relate just like hormones and um, I, okay, well, TMI, I'm gonna just say it. I For the, my birth control, I have the IUD and it has some hormones. It's the Skyla one and, oh wait, no, Kylina. I had, the first IUD I had was Skyla and that had a lot of hormones in it. And I didn't think it was going to, but I guess I just didn't do my research. So once I did my like three year stint on that, when I needed a new one, I still wanted to go with it just cause I, with my schedule, I, I don't know, I just always forgot to take the pill. So yeah. Anyways, I have Kylina, that IUD, and it doesn't have as much hormones as the Skyla one does, but it, I mean, it still makes me break out a little bit on my chin area. And also I just need to figure out a better skincare routine. I mean, I can research things and try to figure things out, but, but yeah, I, I just want it to be easier and it's like too difficult. And so I'm lazy, I guess, in that aspect. Anyways, I'm talking about birth control and hormones. So but what I found when, for me personally, when I like have the IUD that, uh, well, one night I like don't get my uh, period like once a month. It's like maybe a little bit, sorry, really TMI. Anyways, I don't care. I'm sure plenty of people deal with this, but I feel like I still get the symptoms of whenever my cycle is start or supposed to be starting and I feel like I get anxious. 
don't want to say irritable because I try to like not project that onto people, but I think I am dealing with a lot inside my head. And I mean, I'm also dealing like with things in my life and whatever everybody is, but I just feel like it definitely heightens at that time of the month and it's irritating. So I feel like it's important to continuously check in with yourself. Are these feelings really valid or is it just that time of the, like time of the month? And I don't know, that's something that I've definitely talked about with my therapist a couple weeks ago, something that I've kind of been noticing and not struggling to overcome, but I think it's hard. You know, I can't just be like, okay, positive thoughts. I'm over it. Like, <laughs> uh, it doesn't work like that. So yeah, but I feel like I'm passionate about talking about mental health and mental well-being. I think it's so important to care for yourself in that way. And yeah, so, so the blog closes up. I do not talk about my cycles at all. So you don't have anything to worry about there. I just talk about it where a bunch of people are going to see it on YouTube. Anyways. Okay. So, but one thing I did want to show you is these little things behind me here. I got new couch pillows and I've had, I've had a hard time with finding them. We have had these one set of couch pillows. They were like a beautiful cream colored, like chenille type of fabric. It's over there on the floor. It was like a knit crochet. I got it from Target during the holiday season. I want to say two years ago. It's probably around this time, two years ago. And they've been great. We always had them, always used them. And then I kind of wanted to just get something else because we've just had them for, I don't know, a long time. I don't know how many times you need to get couch pillows really, but I just wanted to like switch it up. And also, this is really the main reason why we needed new couch pillows. I was a little drunk or starting to get drunk off of wine. Colin and I were just hanging out at home together after dinner. I think, I don't think I worked the next, I don't know. He puts his wine glass on the armchair on a coaster. Okay, it's not the best, but like that's his spot on the couch. This is my spot. I get the very comfy corner. So he normally puts his drinks there and I saw it there. So like I saw his drink there and I was walking from the kitchen area back to sit on the couch. And I don't know what I was explaining something to him. No, 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 I wasn't explaining. I was just acting, trying to act funny. And I kind of like walked like this, like really dramatically and I knocked the wine glass all over him, his glass of wine, I knocked it on him and on that pillow. You can actually kind of see, oh, don't mind the jalapeno chips. See that little spot there? Yeah, that's mine. But I think in the, mo like I knew the glass was there, but I remember in the moment not seeing it at all. Like not even realizing it was there and he goes it looks like you straight up went and just knocked <laughs> the glass of wine on me this is what happens when I drink I make a fool of myself and uh am a huge klutz so there's that anyways so I'm very excited because these are gonna be now the second set of pillows that I'm buying. I bought some from TJ Maxx over there. I'm sorry, I am too lazy to get up. That pillow right there with the little buttons on it, I thought, oh, it's so cute. And it was a pack of two for like 18 bucks. Not bad. Open them up, put them on the couch. Okay, great, they look great, I'm into this. And then I go back to sit on it and they're the type of pillow that has all of the feathers filled in them, but they're not the down feathers because they're 18 dot, like, you know, they're like, don't have the best fill in them. 
and we've had them for maybe a couple of weeks and the feathers just keep on poking out when you like sit back or like whatever you ha are getting stabbed in the back with by feathers and it hurts and it's irritating it's gotten to the point where colin has taken now has now taken the wine pillow back to sit on versus having the new pillows that I bought. So I got this one. I got a set. They're sold separately. And I have another two coming because it's just like an act. I don't know. I kind of just want it to be a little bit more inviting and cute. <laughs> but yeah, so these pillows are like a 24 by 24 inch square. It's like a faux rabbit fur not filled with feathers <laughs> that is a big important thing do not get pillows that are filled with feathers they will stab you it's so comfortable <laughs> I feel like you just melt into it and it's I think they go I definitely am trying to I think get like a lodge like motif feel I don't know I just really like home designs where they are they just feel really cozy I think that's kind of what Colin and I like the best we like industrial cozy lodge mountain home type of vibe so that's my pillow story okay so i guess the delivery man read my mind that i needed to see these two other pillows so this is it kind of eclectic i feel like pretty pretty good with the pillow options that i did uh, I have like this obviously super like, like, like cozy pillow. Like I said, this is faux rabbit fur. Um, and then this is just like a cotton type of knit. And then this almost reminds me of like a bath mat or like a rug or something like that. But I mean, I think it's still really cute. They're both, it just, I don't know, it just makes the couch look so cozy. Mm. I just pushed the two cushions in together. Uh, because so our couch is the love sack couch and I don't know if you guys have heard of that but there is a brand called the love sack and we have the couch <laughs> we have deep seats was what they're called but when we first got this couch we had the long way so we had just like the shallow seating and we're like nah we, th we think we want the deep seats just so we can feel extra cozy so we ended up getting the deep, switching them out, getting the deep seats, but the pillows that go along the backside, we didn't get switched out. So they don't fit, <laughs> which is annoying. I think we'll end up like eventually, because this is expensive, we'll eventually get another piece to where I think that once we get that piece, we can have the three couch pillows completely flush up against the back. But for right now, this is the deal and I love it. Yay! Okay, so now, for reals, I'm going to get going with bringing up Christmas decorations, just see what I have, take inventory, and we shall start. Okay. That was my workout for the day. Running up and down the stairs watching a Christmas Carol, running up and down the stairs, getting the, bin, getting the bins. This might not seem like that much. I feel like people have a lot more gifts or, oh my God, gifts. What? I'm delusional because I'm so out of breath. Have a lot more Christmas decoration than this, but definitely it is my most favorite time of the year. Absolutely. So I think I'm going to start to kind of open things up, see what I got, then we'll go from there. So clearly, I didn't organize any of this stuff when I put it away, <laughs> when I put it away last year. Uh, okay, well, I think what I for sure want to do is start to decorate my tree. I have my tree up. There it is. Sorry. Oh. This is the end of the movie. Oh my God, it's so sweet. Okay, this is my tree. I got this new this year actually, um, Michael's. And this is the pre-lit tree, which is what I really wanted because the last two years I have put all the lights on the tree, which I really don't mind doing, but it just takes a long time. So I got the pre-lit tree. I got the Jasper, shoot, what is that? Hold on. I 
I'll insert it somewhere in the video, but I got the Jasper seven and a half foot tree. I got it 50% off. I think it was like maybe 200 bucks, but yeah, it works and it's so pretty. I think I just might need to, like, I'm gonna need to kind of spruce up the branches and like open them up just a little bit more uh, at the top there. When I have it on, it looks so close. So I think that's gonna be step one. And then I have little villages things. I have a Christmas story village. That's like my favorite type of Christmas decorations is like those little houses. And then I have a bunch of trees, a bunch of signs, but I think I will start with the tree. We'll get that going.